What's going on, YouTube? I'm a metalhead, and I, for some reason, have a masochistic tendency that has formed over the course of time of playing this fucking game, because for some reason, it's addicting. But you didn't come here to hear all about that. You came here to hear about farming with souls, uh, titanite, large titanite shards, and titanite chunks. Now, what you're going to want is the Symbol of Avarice, the Covenant Silver Serpent Ring, and the Shield of Want, or a different staff that you can get in order to increase discovery in souls. I choose the... I choose the Shield of Want because I'm more of a close quarters combat fighter and not a sorcerer. Now, you just go through here and kill all the enemies if you can. Try not to get fucked up like I'm getting fucked up. And, yeah, this'll happen. This guy will shoot fireballs at you and it'll get pretty annoying. But, he's relatively easy to take down and so is his friend. Just gotta wait for them to come to you, block, and hit. This is a perfect time to work on your combos. Now, wearing all this gear and using stuff like silver, or uh, gold coins and rusted gold coins will help you increase your discovery and give you more large titanite shards and titanite chunks. Now, it's not a very common drop off of these uh, man-serpent enemies, but it's relatively easy to get. Um, I recommend dodging around these guys at low levels and just going in for backstabs if you can. You want to go throughout here and kill all of the small fry, the normal enemies that you would kill. Now, obviously, I still die to this. I still die to this. So, do not become discouraged if you die to this. It is perfectly fine. Still happens to me, and I have maxed out gear. But, right now, I'm being a fucking moron and forgetting how to fight entirely. Now the only thing, the only thing that's bad about this is that you're going to lose health consistently. If you do not know where to get all these items, I will make separate videos on where to get them. Now, every single time you complete this run with all this gear, you'll you'll get about 17,000 or more. Um, if you feel like that this is too slow, too easy, and you need a little bit more, um, I would go up here and follow the path that I'm following. Make sure to do exactly what I do. It might make it easier for you. It makes it a lot easier for me. Oftentimes, I'll die to this guy up here, but I'll take out his small fry first. Then you come up to this guy and fight him. You can get in maybe two attacks per punish. Every once in a while he'll fall down here, and you know, you got a good window of opportunity to get some attacks in. Now, try not to get hit by too many of these attacks, especially if you're using Gundyr's Chain Link. Because if you're using Gundyr's Chain Link, you, you, you very might... <laughs> It's very possible for you to fucking die very easily to this asshole. Now... I'm being a little bit more hasty because I've tried to record this three different times. And this is kind of annoying at this point. But, it's... It's relatively easy to farm up souls. Typically, I'll start out at this bonfire and... I will kill everything all the way up to the Nameless King boss. Uh, now, I don't have any, I don't have any uh, accurate statistics on how much that will actually give you. But, I can tell you that this method alone, even when repeating it, is very efficient and as you can see, if killing all the enemies in this small little area, you get about 30,000 souls per. Now, there's only been one time that I've gotten 
30,000 souls and large titanite shards and chunks off of everyone. It is possible, and it's a very good farming method for me. At least for me. Now, this farming method does not take very long whatsoever. As long as you make sure that you're doing everything right, being careful, and just being mindful of your surroundings so that you don't get either shot with a fireball, knocked off the edge, or ganked immediately. Um, you should be, you should be relatively fine. Just try not to be hasty and take your time while killing these guys. Try to practice your combos, get different combos in your arsenal, so that when it comes time, when it comes time, if you run into anybody, you'll be a little bit more prepared and you'll have a wider arsenal of combos for them to for it to be a little bit more difficult for them to predict. Instead of just doing the same exact attacks that most people do with the Cell Sword, Twin Blades, just the fucking double attacks. Just spamming double attacks. You don't want to do that. You want to you wanna get a good feel for the weapon, and you want to make sure that you have a different kind of style that people can't really predict that well. Now, Running through this is relatively easy, and it's a relatively fast way to farm souls. Getting behind these guys is very easy as well, but... If you can... I would, I would suggest parrying, and then switching back to your shield. Because that, for some reason insta-kills them for me, whereas backstabbing does basically everything but a pube hair. So, once again, I'm going to run over the course again, and I'm going to go through this, and at the end of this, I should have approximately 60,000 souls if I did everything right. Gotta watch out for this guy's attacks. I can't see anything, this sucks. Relatively easy to fight, and 7,000 souls plus a titanite chunk. Come on, what are you doing? You should be doing this. Of course, I am not in New Game Plus yet. I am only in New Game, and this is, this is relatively easy, a lot easier for me to farm than what other farming methods I've tried have been. And as you can see, it's pretty efficient. It's not too time consuming, and there's an easy method behind it. So, if you need videos on how to get the gear, I will post videos later. I will have videos on my channel on to how to get the headgear, the shield, the ring, and even the staff. But, that is all for now. I hope this helped you, and I hope you have an amazing day.